Hello, everybody. Cal Banyan here. Cal Banyan's Hypnosis, etc. on calbanyan.com. Now, let me tell you something. This is like a breaking news bulletin. Everywhere we're hearing AI, chat GPT, uh, all these different mega companies like Microsoft jumping into the AI, artificial intelligence world. What does this mean for the world? And what does it mean for us as hypnotists? I'm going to go through some things that are controversial. I'm going to do some speculating. I'm going to do some prognosticating. And if you want to, you can leave a comment below. AI, good or bad for the hypnosis profession. And if you like what I do, give us a share or a like. As the Borg once said, resistance is futile. AI is going to change the profession for good. Is the last edition of our Five Path International Association Hypnosis Professional Journal. <laughs> I did a little thing. I started playing around with Chat GPT, and uh, which you know, just Google it, Chat GPT, and you'll see that it's available, open source kind of thing, where anyone can go in and start playing with it. And I instructed it to write me a hypnosis article, and then. Uh, it did. And then I published it to the journal and it's just, you know, by chat GPT. So what does that mean? There's so many things that are going on. So fears, let's talk about fears first. Are they founded or unfounded? Fear number one survey said, will I be replaced? That's a lot of fears and a lot of professions and a lot of work environments. Will I be replaced? Mm. Yes, some of us will be replaced and some of us won't. Shall I continue? Let's see. <clears throat> Bad for hypnotists that don't, they're not highly skilled. That, that you went through some kind of training where they taught you how to read scripts. Oh, let me tell you something. If you already knew how to read before you took the course, <laughs> you already knew how to read scripts. So if if I could ask chat PT, GPT or any other AI type situation to please write me a script for, and I have done that, write me a script for hypnosis script for stop smoking, write me a hypnosis script for relaxation, and it can do it. And guess what? Computers can read those scripts. So we are only milliseconds away from scriptists being replaced. And what's that going to do? Ooh, there's some scary stuff going with that. Let's see. This is what technology does. When it first comes out, it's typically expensive. And then over time, it goes down, 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 down. Now, I'm old, so I'm going to use an old example. And that is, I remember when America landed it the first time on the moon, and it was amazing, absolutely amazing. And they had all kinds of computer scientists and stacks and stacks of computer program code and all of that. My watch, my, my little smart watch is smarter than any computer they had at that time. So what's happened is if, if you've got an electronic watch or if you've got a phone or if you've got a PC computer, a laptop, Mac, you've got more power at your fingertips than they had then. Now, back then it was, you know, probably billion dollars to, or more to get someone on the moon. That now that technology, that same technology computer wise has gone down. In fact, that technology is so behind the times, it wouldn't even wind up on your wrist or on your phone. So it's worth nothing. All right, so what does that mean? AI is going to become cheaper over time and better over time. And what does that mean? It's going to cheapen hypnosis services for script reading hypnotists. It's going to do what I call commoditizing. That's, that's like a marketing term or business term. And that's like when you buy sugar, you know, you might buy a brand of sugar, but one kind of sugar is just about as good as the next. One kind of flour is just about as good as the next. It's a commodity. Okay. So now 
Apple Watch or Android Watch or whatever, those are not commodities yet because the technology keeps moving along. So what's going to happen is scriptnotists are going to be in danger. Scriptnotists, that's hypnotists. And all they can do is read scripts. They will be replaced. If you do continue to try to be a scriptnotist, then what's going to happen is your fees will go down, 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 down as AI is able to do it cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So ah, that's sad. Another thing it's going to do is, now I'm like 27, 28 years in this profession, full time as a working hypnotist and hypnotherapist and trainer. And one of the things I know is that when people call for sessions, they don't know typically that one hypnotist is better than the other. All they know is what they, they've seen on TV or read in a book or a magazine or something like that. They don't know that some hypnotists are here and some hypnotists are masters with lots and lots of tools, right? And so they just ask how many sessions and how much? They already look at it as a commodity. So what does this mean? This means they, the public, your potential clients are going to at least some of them, if not most of them, experience lower and lower quality hypnosis. They will not know the difference except by reputation of someone who's really good okay, between AI generated hypnosis and hypnosis done by a scriptnotist or any other hypnotist. And so what's going to have to happen is fees are going to go down, quality is going to go down, and what can we do about it? Let me first talk about, there's really two things. There's short-term and long-term. Now, in the long-term, I don't know, I'm a sci-fi buff, and I think that more and more and more AI and robotics, androids, all this kind of stuff is going to get more and more sophisticated, more and more sophisticated. There may even come a time where you got to look pretty close to tell the difference between a human being and a synthetic. All right. That's all, still a long way off. That's not going to happen in my lifetime. It's probably not going to happen in your lifetime unless you're like three years old. But I could be wrong about that. Technology constantly speeds up faster and faster and faster. But let's talk about within the next 20 years. Okay, that's like how, some, how long someone is typically in a profession anyway. So in the next 20 years, hmm, that's not going to happen. AI, where they sit in front of a computer and do online hypnosis sessions in front of a computer, maybe with headphones or whatever, that is, if it's not already happening, it's going to happen. Uh, I predict in weeks, months, maybe a year from now, someone's going to be offering that. Now, it will be very low quality and it'll be relatively high compared to where it's going to be, but it's going to, there's going to be a crossover. What's going to happen is the price goes down and the quality will go up on AI generated hypnosis sessions. But it will never reach the level of someone who is highly trained and doing more than just reading scripts. Okay, so let's talk about it in the next 20 years. Let's talk about this year. What are you? Are you a scriptist? Are you considering training where people just do, well, here's a hypnosis script, read it for an induction, then read this script for a deepening, read this script or whatever the client came in for, and then read this script to emerge them. <laughs> you are going to be a dinosaur. Okay. So good and bad and ugly in the next five to 20 years. Right now, let's start with right now. Right now, one of the benefits is scriptnotists or even advanced hypnotists like myself that do age regression and instant inductions and, and really a uh, more sophisticated hypnosis, more therapeutic techniques, if you will, okay, is you can generate articles using J, uh, chat GPT and upcoming AI sources. Now, they're not perfect. You need to go in and use it more as an inspiration or outline, unless you accredit it to the AI generated, right? But like if you're running out of ideas for 
hypnosis, you can go to chat GPT and say, give me a list of 100 ideas for articles on hypnosis. And the blink of an eye, you've got it. You can say, you can pick one of those and say, good. Now write me an article about number 23, you know, how to overcome uh, fear of heights. Okay. Or you could say, write me a hypnosis script on overcoming fear of heights. Now that articles and scripts, you can get bare bones mm, scripts and articles out of chat. Be, uh, any AI, AI source now or in the future, but they're not going to be perfect. Hopefully the professional hypnotist knows a little bit more about how to do those things than, than AI does. But it's a good place to start for inspiration. So that's an immediate benefit. You need to go beyond reading a script to survive. That's why I know that the five path hypnotists, those who are trained in five path hypnosis and hypnotherapy, seven path self hypnosis, the secret language of feelings, really the, the three most important things in the system, the systems that I teach in class are not going to be placeable because number one, you're going to, you're going to learn how to connect to a client, how to have them have buy-in. So that they really want to follow instructions. So that they really go into hypnosis. I doubt if it's probably going to be 20, 30, 40, 50 years that a chat GPT or other AI source is going to be able to do depth testing. Yes, it can chatter scripts, but it takes a human being at least for now, at least for 20 years to be able to do depth testing where you can really tell that someone is in the proper level of hypnosis to do work like age aggression or time tunneling and these kinds of things. So what I'm saying is resistance is futile. It's here. It's going to continue to grow. The only way you can stay ahead of the AI invasion, to be dramatic, right, is to sharpen your skills. If you're already a hypnotist and you're a script notist, you need to get more powerful skills. If you are a uh, someone who's dabbling in this and dabbling in that, not really a master of any kind of advanced technique like age regression, parts work and stuff like that, then you are jack of all trades, master of none. And you're, you're, I think you're in danger as far as your profession goes. Already the AI has moved into medical environments, you know, and you know, doing diagnoses and things like that. So of course they are coming. They are coming. Resistance is futile. All right. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below. If you want to make your professional uh, future AI resistant, check out my classes. You can go to calbanion.com, check on, click on training. Got some information down below as well. And I want to see you in class because you can become the best of the best. Something that AI is not going to do hmm, in this century. That's a prediction. All right, that's it. Calvanian signing off.